Hey everyone, Dan Addy here. Welcome to another edition of Detroit Speed's Tech Talk. Today, we're going to talk to you about Detroit Speed's aluminum frame for the 1964.5 to 70 Mustang. As you can see here, we have our aluminum frame display on our cart here. And the really cool thing about the aluminum frame is, is that you're going to use the stock frame rail. So once you get rid of all the stock suspension, we have a cast aluminum cradle that's going to bolt to the bottom of the stock frame rail and it's going to get sandwiched by a weld on steel plate followed by a cast aluminum upper control arm mount as well as a cast aluminum coilover shock mount. But everything's included that you see here, including an aluminum forged upright with a hub pack that comes with either a five by four and a half inch forward bolt pattern, or you can also do the five by four and three quarter GM bolt pattern if you have wheels of that caliber. As you can see, we have a forged steel and a roll bar arm and an integrated spline sway bar with split lock collars. Here you can see our JRI tuned Detroit Speed coilover shock and spring combination that's available as a non-adjustable shock, or you can do a single adjustable, double adjustable, or a double adjustable with remote canister shock options with your aluminum frame. Another cool thing is that we're converting your older Mustang with rack and pinion steering that's connected to a forged steering arm. We also have tubular upper and lower control arms to complete the package. So one of the things that sets Detroit Speed apart from the other competitors on the market is this cast aluminum cradle that we do. Now obviously it's aluminum, so it's a high strength to weight ratio and it's gonna provide much more structure in the front of your Mustang. And like I said, that all gets sandwiched with the cast aluminum cradle and coiler mount. It's pretty simple as far as installation. You're going to locate the cradle. There's a steel plate here that gets welded to the top side of the frame rail. There's going to be crush tubes that you're going to drill from the bottom side of the frame and install them and they're actually going to tighten into the steel plate with a bunch of tapped holes. So then literally the aluminum cradle upper and lower mounts just come together with hardware provided and from there, you're just going to assemble all the steering and suspension components to that cast aluminum cradle. The Detroit Speed aluminum frame cradle is constructed with multiple gussets underneath and it's cast right here in the United States. And all machine work is done right here at Detroit Speed. There is minimal fabrication involved when installing the Detroit Speed aluminum frame. Once you have the factory suspension and engine removed, it should take about 20 hours to install this system. We'll actually link to an installation video below in the description. So the Detroit Speed Aluma frame was one of the first suspension systems we designed with the Speedline technology. That allows you a great range of adjustability for caster and camber, including seven and a half to eight degrees of positive caster or half to one degree of negative camber. What that means is by simply loosening a bolt and either turning or sliding a star adjuster, you can change your caster and camber without having to get it realigned. So say you're driving your Mustang to a track event you have your normal comfortable street driving setups, but when you get there you want a little bit more aggressive casher and camber. Well all you need to do, like I said, is loosen the bolt, adjust the stars, and tighten them back up, and now you can have some fun on the track day. And then when you want to go home, you just change back to your street setting, and you're back to normal. With the speed line technology, you're able to gain some positive caster with the adjustability. What you're basically doing is, when you loosen the bolts, this whole upper control arm system is going to slide back, which is going to move that upper ball joint back compared to the lower ball joint. And when you have positive caster, that's going to increase your steering responsiveness, such as when you're autocrossing or taking some tight cornering. Same deal with negative camber. The speed line technology is going to allow that upper control arm to shift inboard. So by adding negative camber, that's going to increase your tire contact patch under full suspension travel. You also have six inches of suspension travel and have a great range of adjustability with the ride height with the coilover shock and spring system. Another great feature of the Luma frame is that you're able to run a much wider wheel and tire under your Mustang. For the 64 and a half to 66 Mustangs, you can run this 265, 35 R18 tire size on a nine inch wheel. If you have a 67 or 68 Mustang, you can run up to a 275, 35 R18 tire on a 10 inch wheel. If you have a 1969 to 70 Mustang, you can actually fit a 295, 35 R18 tire size on a 10 and a half inch wheel. Detroit Speed offers a variety of engine mount kits to go with your aluminum frame depending on what you're going to install in your Mustang, including small block Ford, big block Ford FE motors, your modular motors including the 4.6 and 5.4 liter, 
also the Coyote engines and the Chevy LS engines. Now if you're installing a Ford Coyote engine, Detroit Speed offers a really nice set of stainless steel headers to go with your Luma frame. If you're running a different engine combination, we have vendors that provide other options for your headers. Now if you are installing the Coyote engine with the Luma frame, a couple things you need to do is it will require an oil pan upgrade and for the Gen 1, Gen 2 Coyotes, you'll need the Canton pan and for a Gen 3 Coyote, you need to upgrade to a Moroso oil pan with the internal pickup. Now if you're installing the Coyote engine with the factory Ford front drive system and a Ford alternator, you will need Detroit Speed's alternator relocation bracket as well as machining a little bit into the upper control arm which a template is provided to do so. There are other front drive systems on the market that relocate the alternator to the top that require no modifications. Brake options for the Detroit Speed Luma frame include modern brakes from Bear, Woolwood, or AP Racing. If you use the GM wheel hub pattern, factory Corvette brakes will also work. The Detroit Speed Luma frame will require you to remove the stock strut tower. So we offer a nice stamped steel closeout plate that can be welded in or bolted in and give you additional clearance for a forward modular engine. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Detroit Speed's Tech Talk. If you have any questions, please call us at 704-662-3272 or send us an email at sales at DetroitSpeed.com. You can also visit our website at DetroitSpeed.com or any of our social media outlets.